Hey girls, it's Thursday and I'm feeling much better. Last week, Monday I believe, one of my coworkers got stomach flu. I was like, wow, that really sucks. And then the next day, two more of my coworkers got the stomach flu and I'm like, wow, I need to stay away from them. And then the next day, one more of my coworkers got the stomach flu, at which point I'm kind of freaking out because I haven't had the stomach flu in a really long time, and i that's like the last thing I would want to get. And then um, on Tuesday, I ended up with the stomach flu, except that I didn't have a fever and I wasn't throwing up, so go figure that out. My doctor says that um, everyone has been coming in with those same symptoms and it's the stomach flu, so I don't know. And I felt like a little kid because she gave me these pills that melted in my mouth. And they kind of tasted like coconut. It was gross. And I wanted to spit them out like a five-year-old would, but I didn't. I was a big girl. So, okay. So there's that. And last week, this week, I guess last week, Megan, you were so hyper and you were adorable and you made me laugh like the whole video. So thank you for that. Emily, thank you for sharing all of those facts because that was actually really interesting. I had no idea most of those things. Kelly, I hope your tooth feels better because I know that dental work sucks and I hate having dental work done. Ooh, I hate the dentist with like a burning fiery passion deep in my soul. And Sierra, thank you for that rant. That was kind of neat. And I'm glad that you addressed stuff like that. I think that everyone should be more proactive in addressing things of that nature and things they stand for. I think that you really need to be the change that you want to see if you want there to be a change and Gandhi quote be the change that you want to see in the world and admittedly before I started working with kids I wasn't one who made fun but I was the one who kinda of sat back feeling bad for the one who was making fun of which is probably just as bad as making fun of them it's not saying anything so thank you for that rant and there's a fly that's bugging me there it goes there's like this one fly that hangs out in my room and I can't get rid of him. He's driving me crazy. Anyways, um, our channel's getting a little boring, girls. And I know I mentioned this and talked to a couple of you about this. I'm going to start a second um, challenge chain. And so whoever I r roll has to eat pudding and or applesauce while singing the chorus of their favorite Broadway musical. Now, I don't have one die, I have two on my phone, my spiffy phone, purple stars, pretty cool, brand new phone, yes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll until I get one of the die to say four, and whichever the other die says is who has to do this challenge, so let's see. Four and five. That would be Megan. So Megan, we'll see you eating pudding and or applesauce tomorrow while singing the chorus of your favorite Broadway musical song. That should be interesting. Also, we need a theme for next week. We really need a theme for next week. And I know we've come up with a few ideas. There's also a couple theme ideas in our inbox on this channel. So go check those out or I'll put them on our Facebook thread and we'll talk and we'll, we have to have a theme because I said so. That's why. Yeah. Also. The, um, I know we've been kind of talking about, well not really talking about, kind of chatting about um, the fact that it's illegal to pump your own gas in Oregon and New Jersey, and I just think that's weird. I'm sorry. I prefer to pump my own gas. I wouldn't want somebody else doing it for me, although I guess if I grew up having someone else do it, it wouldn't matter. But anyways, I decided that I was going to share a list of odd laws and laws that are just stupid, and I'm not sure if some of these are true, so girls... If they are true, let me know, because some of them are just odd to me. Um, like, in Oregon, it is illegal to eat ice cream on Sundays. Seriously? It's also illegal to bathe without suitable clothing on. It is illegal to dry your dishes. They must drip dry. And it is also illegal to carry a baby on the running board of a car. Why that one has to be a law, I'm not exactly sure. In New Jersey, it is illegal to wear a bulletproof vest while committing a murder. It is also illegal to slurp your soup. In California, it's just rude. It's also illegal to buy a car on Sunday, and it's illegal to delay a homing pigeon. 
In Pennsylvania, it is also illegal to buy a car on Sunday. Is that true, guys? Because that's, that's just weird to me. I'm sorry. Um, in Pennsylvania, also, it is illegal to have more than 16 women in one house because it constitutes as a brothel. It is also illegal to sleep on top of a, on top of a refrigerator outdoors. Why would you want to do that in the first place? And it is a... I can't even talk. It is illegal to sing in the bathtub. I'm sorry, I have a problem with that one. I would be so busted. Every shower. In Mich Michigan, it is illegal for a woman to cut her hair... It is illegal for a woman to cut her hair without first clearing it with her husband. It is legal for a 12-year-old to own a handgun as long as they have not committed a felony prior. Twelve? Um, it is also said that the last Sunday in June must be Log Cabin Day from whenever it was started forever. In California, it is illegal for a woman to drive in a house coat. It is also illegal for a vehicle to exceed 60 miles per hour without somebody in the driver's seat. And it is illegal for animals to mate within 1,500 feet of a tavern, church, or school. Go figure. Alright, so that's all I have for this week. Megan, I will see you tomorrow.